Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday, chatting over new makeup releases, my thoughts on them, if I'm planning to pick them up or if I'm going to pass over them. I will have my playlist linked down below and I will also link the Community Will I Buy It playlist, which I created so any creator that makes this style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist. But I do have a lot to chat about this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I'm gonna scoot over a little bit here so I can add in some photos. So we do have a new release here from Juvia's Place. I was going to touch on this last week because we knew something was coming. We knew the coral palette was coming, but we hadn't seen the inside of it yet. And I actually did talk about it, but I ended up cutting it out because I just didn't really have a lot to go on and I didn't think it really added any sort of value to the video. But one thing that I said in that section was I'm really excited to see this palette. I really enjoy corals. Uh, so like I'm just super stoked about this. I can't wait to see what it looks, on, looks like on the inside. I really do like coral with green eyes, which I do have. I just recently posted, I think yesterday's video is my makeup monthly for the month of April. I talk about the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop being a favorite of mine, and that is a um, very coral-based eyeshadow. So I was thinking we were gonna get something along those lines from Juvia's Place. But another thing that I said in that section was, you never really know with Juvia's Place, and sometimes they're the actual shadows that they add into the palettes don't always make the most sense to me being not uh, a very like greatly visual person sometimes sometimes the shadows that go together don't always make the most sense to me from Juvia's Place so I was just like I'm super curious to see this so we now see what the inside of the palette looks like and I have to say that I was kind of a little bit bummed when I saw this because I was hoping maybe there would be more corals in there and you know kind of first glance looking at the photo I was like I really wouldn't have considered this a coral palette um, so this is the Nubian 3 coral eyeshadow palette it is $20 it has a combination of cool and warm tones also matte and shimmers reading from the trend one Instagram I do always have her linked in my description box but so first I, I mean so there's not as many corals as maybe I was hoping that there would be and then there's also kind of these these colors that I don't know if I feel like make the most sense to the palette, which again, I also kind of predicted would happen because that's sort of how it is with Juvia's, but we have kind of like this gray and like some blues in there and taupes and I don't know. I guess it was kind of what I was expecting to see, just kind of knowing Juvia's place and being really familiar with their eyeshadow palettes, but it wasn't quite what I was hoping it would have been because I think if it was kind of more primarily that coral palette, I think that I would have gone ahead and bought it. $20 is a really great price. I know the Trend Me Post says they're going to be coming into Ulta Beauty soon. This particular palette will be available at Ulta Beauty soon. So I was really leaning towards it, but then once I saw the inside, I was like, you know what? I just, I don't know about this one. So there's also quite a few of the, the browns in there. One thing that I really liked about the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop was that it really was there's so many different coral shades in there and you have the matte shimmers you know there's some glitters in there and that super shock shadow which is fine but I just felt like it was such a pretty palette and I also felt like it was colorful but without being too much because I'm not the most colorful eyeshadow wearer so I just I don't know I thought it was just such a really good combination and this one I'm just kind of like meh about so I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking about this one from Juvia's Place. You'll have to let us know what you think though or if you've already picked it up from the Juvia's Place website. I of course would love to know but just maybe not what I was expecting but also what I was expecting at the same time. Mm, that's kind of a weird thing. Let's move on. Okay so I, I didn't mention this last week and I don't know why I had it saved in my folder and I just must have completely skipped over it. So, but I did still want to add it for this week. So these are new releases from Huda Beauty. This is the Tan Tour. It says it's a two-in-one contour and bronzer. It says a sculptor face and body with this blendable, workout-proof, sweat-proof, water-resistant product. It's a contouring bronzer. It's a cream formula in 30 It's $30, and they have also the Sculpt in Shade brush for $28. will be available May 17th in store. I'm not super interested in this product. I've been slowly working my way more into cream products, but it's still not what I wear the majority of the time. So when it comes to a cream product, um, I really kind of want to be sure that I'm really going to enjoy it. So, you know, I'll, I'll watch the reviews on it and see what people are saying, but I really highly doubt I would go for this one, just knowing my personal makeup preferences. Um, it sounds interesting with the contour and the bronzer in one. Also at the same time, like how it says like workout proof and sweat proof and all of that. 
um, that's just not really a factor that I think about. I don't generally work out in makeup. Um, I know a lot of these these products are getting really popular for summer um not only with products like this but just like all the different oils that are coming out and like huda beauty released that not your mama's pantyhose and things like that and i get it but i just also don't really wear that kind of stuff a ton i've mentioned my vita liberata body blur that i'll wear um you know maybe if i'm like going boating or something like that because i don't get transfer with it and i just feel a little bit more confident but when it comes to like my daily makeup routine and what I'm wearing the majority of, it's not really products like that. Um, so th that those kind of claims, I know that's not fully what this is focused on, but like those kind of claims also don't really get me jazzed because I just don't feel like I have an, it's just not necessary for me, I guess. So, um, you know, $30, pretty pricey, but more than likely I'm going to be passing over this one from Huda Beauty. Uh, we do have a new release from Viseart, and I have to say, I was actually a little bit surprised when I saw this. So, they're coming out with new eyeshadow palettes. We have the Warm Edit and then the Rosé Edit. Each of these have 12 shades with matte and shimmer finishes, and they're $39 each. So this will be available May 12th. I actually didn't think $39 was a bad price for these, and I was kind of scrolling through the comments on Treadmoon, and a lot of people were commenting on the price as well, because Viseart is usually really quite pricey. Uh, so when I saw that, I was kind of like, huh, that's interesting. I know they just also came out with their single shadows as well, but these palettes do look really beautiful. And again, $39 is not a bad price. I've tried Viseart shadows in the past, and um, like I have a couple of the palettes, and they just don't really like rev my engine. I think that they're fine, but for the price point, I'm kind of like, mm, not really sure. Like It's not really easy for me to recommend, but $39, I think that's a really nice price. I don't know if either of these palettes really pulled to me. I am kind of like in, in an eyeshadow palette like fatigue right now. I really haven't purchased any new eyeshadows as of lately. I'm not, really not even trying a lot of new eyeshadow palettes. You know, I do get some PR from brands and I feel like they have not been very eyeshadow heavy as of lately. I've been really leaning on my shop, my stash for my eyeshadows or kind of reaching into the palettes that I know and love or reaching for my glitters a lot. So I don't know. I'm just kind of like hitting the eyeshadow uh, palette fatigue at this moment. I'm sure it'll kick back up sometime soon, but I'm really focusing more on like face products, base products, even brow products, of course, lip products. I'm Am I ever enough fatigue there? But eyeshadow palettes, not so much. So when I look at these, even though I'm like, it's a great price and I kind of like, I would kind of like to have one of these Viseart palettes for the price point, to be honest. But I'm like, okay, so we have like that warm palette with the yellow in there. I know that I own a palette, you know, super, so like several palettes that are really similar to that. And then we also have this really beautiful rose palette, which looks super stunning. But again, I know that I would have a lot of shades in there. So once again, probably going to be passing over this one, but they really were quite pretty. And I do, I kind of feel like I do have makeup fatigue just kind of in general. Um, I've noticed a few other people commenting that because like in the past maybe two or even three Willy Bite videos, it's a very rare that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I definitely want to pick it up. I'm just kind of like, okay, okay. And sometimes that can happen after the Sephora VIB sale because it's like you get really excited and you're putting out these videos of like what I want to buy and what I recommend. And then you're actually shopping and then you're showing what you got and then you're trying it on. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's kind of like, okay, I can take a break for a sec, you know? So I, I, I definitely think that I'm kind of feeling that right now. And that's okay, and that's, you know, the point of the Will I Buy It videos isn't to try to convince myself to buy makeup, it's not to convince you to buy makeup, it's simply just a chat over what is interesting me and what's not. That's it, that's that's it for the Will I Buy It, it's not too deep. So moving on, we have uh, some new releases from Too Faced. It looks like they're expanding the uh, Tutti Frutti collection. They have some more releases coming out from there. So we have one is the Triple Scoop, which is a highlighter palette. It says Reflective Glitter and Sparkling Dimension Ice Cream Inspired Vanilla Strawberry and Chocolate. Uh, so that's $42. I love the concept behind that. I love like the Neapolitan ice cream theme. That's super cool. I'm an ice cream fan. That's fantastic. Uh, 42 is definitely, you know, that's pretty pricey for a highlight palette, even though you do have the three shades in there. But uh, I think that I'm going to pass over it, especially when I hear the words glitter in the highlight palette. I'm like, probably not for me. I'm also really trying to cut down on the amount of face palettes that I'm getting uh, because I just don't reach into them a ton. I also just posted a makeup inventory video, which was 
uh, it, it was nice to do, especially after a move. Um, it actually helped me declutter. I know I'm going to have another declutter coming up here soon. It helped me declutter and just kind of get an overview of what my collection is like. And I've been saying it in a couple of videos, but I really do want to try to cut down on face palettes, especially palettes that have like multiple, like, you know, contour and bronzer and blush, maybe a setting powder, uh, etc. Because a lot of times I can't really use all of the different shades in there. So I've been trying to cut back on that. Again, this highlight palette, I'm not sure I would use all of the shades in here either. So even though I really like the concept, I love the outer packaging. So cute with the ice cream. I know that I can say no. And then we also have the pineapple glow which is a moisturizing and brightening face mask that, again, is a $42. I haven't tried any of the Too Faced uh, skincare yet. I know they've been coming out with a few different products for skincare, but I haven't tried any myself, and I just, again, I don't think that I need that at this moment. So I'm going to pass over those from Too Faced. So this is a crazy beautiful product from Physicians Formula. They have just released the Petal Glow Iridescent Highlighter, and it looks beautiful. It looks like they have a few new releases coming up, but a lot of people were tagging me on this rose highlighter. I think that it's really quite stunning because um, you have like that rose imprint in it and it just looks beautiful. I don't like my mind kind of immediately goes like Beauty and the Beast with the rose. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, so that I just think is super stunning. I don't see a whole lot. It just it says coming soon. They have a couple other products that are coming out. It looks like some different um, uh, skincare products. But like I said, I was getting most tagged on the highlighter. I also can't quite tell. I haven't seen a swatch of it yet at the time that I'm filming, so I'm not exactly 100%. It would look great on my skin tone because in some of these photos, it does look quite dark, so I don't know if I would be able to pull it off, but that looks like a seriously beautiful highlight. So that is a coming soon. We also have some more new releases from Huda Beauty. So she's coming out with a lot lately, but she's also coming out with the setting spray. This is called Resting Boss Face. She's really, and she's pretty extra with these names as of lately too. But it says Extra Hold, a scented setting spray delivers a comfortable matte finish without leaving the skin feeling dry. It says it's inspired by a makeup hack used by some drag queens who set their hard work in elaborate face makeup with hairspray. For a lasting hold it's waterproof it has an ultra matte finish and it's 32 dollars and will be available may 17th i do really enjoy setting sprays i use them every day um you know i really like them to lock my makeup in place i definitely have some you know favorites of mine i'm curious about this one especially because it makes emphasis on being like an ultra matte spray i have tried a few kind of these matte finish sprays in the past flower beauty has one mac has one and I don't know if I've ever really felt like super matte when I wear them. Like I, I like them both as setting sprays. I like the Flower Beauty more than the MAC actually. But I don't know if I was ever like, wow, I look really matte now. I do also have dry skin, so I'm not sure this is the best option for me. Even though it, it again, makes a point to say it doesn't leave you feeling dry. But I don't know there. So $32. I also think that's kind of high. Trying to think of how much I pay for my Fix Plus though. I feel like that's maybe in the 20s because I do definitely use the Fix Plus plus quite a bit. I also do like the Morphe one, um, which I know is even cheaper than the Mac. So I don't know. Again, this is one that I'd watch reviews on, but I'm not sure it's going to be for me based on like preferences and skin type and all that. I'm not 100% on that, but I think I'll be curious to see what people are thinking of this one. I get quite a few tags on a new eyeshadow palette from Nabla Cosmetics. So this is the Secret Palette. It says comes in 15 shades with different finishes, matte and shivers. It's going to be available May 22nd on their website. I don't think I see a price yet on this one. Just kind of glancing at the other posts that have come in. I don't think I see a price yet on this one. I haven't tried anything from Nabla Cosmetics yet. I don't this palette doesn't really intrigue me. It didn't cause me to do any sort of double take. When I was first getting the tags on this one, I couldn't quite tell who the brand was. Sometimes I try to guess who the brand is when I'm getting a bunch of tags on a product and looking at it, I was kind of like, mm, I'm not really sure. And then when I saw Novel Cosmetics, I was like, okay, you know, I'm not super familiar with them. So I guess it didn't quite shock me, but it looks pretty. The swatches do look pretty pretty especially some of these like turquoise shades um they look super stunning there's some pinks in there but again it just it didn't cause me to do any sort of double take i didn't get really excited when i first saw that promo photo so when that happens i know that i don't need to try to talk myself into makeup because generally there's a lot of things i'm more interested in or i've just been shopping or something along those lines so i know i don't have to talk to myself into it 
So we also learned that Kylie Cosmetics is going to be releasing her skincare line. So she has not yet released skincare, um, but she I saw the post saying uh, that she's been working on this for so long and she's so excited to release the skincare. So she has a face wash for 24, a face scrub for 22, there's a, a vanilla milk toner for 22, a moisturizer from 24, a vitamin C serum for 28, an eye cream for 20. You can buy the entire set for $125. It's going to be available May 22nd online at Kylie Skin. So, uh, okay. Uh, I'm not super interested in this one. I don't really purchase from Kylie Jenner or Kylie Cosmetics a ton. Just I have in the past. Wasn't super impressed. Um, decided that I could put my money towards other brands or just other products in general. So not super interested in the skincare. I've also been trying to uh, cut back on the amount of skincare that I'm purchasing and really kind of like get back into my like solid routine. Uh, and I've noticed that I've been trying also to finish up some of the skincare products that I have. I always have my empties basket next to me in my office and I put products in there that I finish up. And as of right now, it is all skincare in there because I've been really trying to put a focus on finishing up some of those products. So I've been trying to cut back on the amount of skincare that I'm purchasing for myself. I don't feel like I have a real need for any of these products. You know, I have my face wash and scrubs and eye cream and vitamin C serum. Like I have all of this. So not super jazzed to, to see this, not surprised to see this, but it's not something that I was like, yes, finally, this is what I was waiting for. So I'm going to skip over the Kylie skin. <laughs> they get quite a few tags on this very purple and pink palette from Morphe. This is a new eyeshadow palette called Such a Gem. This is the 39S palette. So you get 38 shades, matte, shimmery, sparkly. There's pressed glitters, cool toned, warm tones. It's going to be $35. It's going to be available on May 14th. Uh, I did get quite a few tags on this one, and a lot of the tags were saying, I know you're not into big palettes, but we know that you like purple. Um, I do like wearing purple. I have a lot of purple on my eyes today, and it's actually from the, one of the Morphe palettes, one that Jacqueline Hill did in the vault collection called Bling Boss. I pulled one of the eyeshadows into my shop, my stash, and I've really been, like I said, since I haven't been trying a lot of new eyeshadow palettes, I've been really getting uh, a lot of use out of the, what I said, the Ring the Alarm palette, I think is the one that I pulled out, but I was kind of looking at it today like, man, I've done so many looks with this, I kind of want to do something else, and so I went in and I pulled out Bling Boss to create this purple look. I really do like purples. I think it's very complimentary with the green eyes as well. But of course, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not into these larger palettes right now. I just am not getting a lot of use out of them. I've tried to declutter quite a few out of my collection. So even though I think, I, I mean, the palette is beautiful. It's definitely very eye-catching. But a lot of times when you have such huge palettes like this, there's shades that look super similar to one another in here. And, you know, it's Morphe, so it's not a bad price, $35 for the 38 shades. But I just know that it's not for me. Um, it really doesn't call my attention at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over that one. We have some new brushes that are coming out from Zoeva Cosmetics. This is the Coral Shine brush set. It includes nine face and eye brushes plus a bag. That is what I see so far, and it says coming soon. So Coral uh, is a big color right now. It was the Pantone color of the year. So we've seen a couple brands, um, you know, I mentioned the Juvia's Place, the ColourPop. Those are the Coral palettes. But this is really cute that it's a Coral set. I really do like brushes for whatever reason. Makeup brushes always seem to catch my attention. Um, brush sets seem to call my attention too, even though I really try not to purchase them. I used to purchase brush sets more than I would purchase brush singles. And then I was kind of like, okay, you need to stop doing that because, you know, just pick up a brush when you realize that you need, you know, a another one for a certain, uh, you know, makeup application. So these I think look really pretty, but kind of looking closely at the brushes, I'm, I don't know if I would use all of them or really need all of them. I think this set looks really cute and I did do, like I kind of did a little bit of a double take with it, but I don't think that I need it right now. So I'm going to try to be good here and pass over that one. Uh, we have, we're almost finished here. I feel like this week is actually kind of a shorter week. I feel like when I say that I somehow managed to turn it into a really long video, but we'll see. We'll see how I did. Uh, but we have a new collection from Becca Cosmetics for summer 2019. This is the Pearl Glow Collection. So we have a luster powder, which is a water light jellified highlighter infused with pure light reflective. This is pears. Does she mean pearl? Pearls? I'm going to assume pearls, not pears. Okay. I have the shimmering eye palette. It includes three finishes and pearlescent, luminous, and matte shades. There's 12 different shades in there. We have some lip tints also. So these are available exclusive to Becca travel retail locations. United States, Korea, Denmark, France, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, and Guam. We'll keep updated if there's any changes. Okay, so these all 
look super interesting the the packaging kind of intrigues me on these the eyeshadow palette like it almost kind of looks like the seashells um the lip balms i'm probably not super interested in i feel pretty good on that but like the highlighter and the eyeshadow palette kind of caught my attention with their packaging but honestly becca highlighters just have kind of like fallen off the wayside for me there's other highlighters that i'm just so much more into right now i have actually decluttered quite a few of my becca highlights which is shocking because at one time it was like becca highlights and then everything else was down here but you know preferences change and you find new formulas or new brands that you're more interested in so i feel like i'd be able to talk myself out of the eyeshadows and then the palette i was like okay so you know i'm interested in it because of the packaging but like break it down, look at it, look at the different shades, you know, try to try to see what we're doing here. And uh, I, 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 once again, I think that I'd be able to talk myself out of this because once I really look at it, I'm like, okay, I probably do have those shades. Um, I didn't see the price on this one right away. So not 100% what that would be, but Becca's, you know, it's high end. So it's usually a little bit more expensive. And like I said, I have that eyeshadow palette fatigue right now. I'm just finding it really easy to pass over eyeshadows. So eyeshadow palettes um, at this moment. So even though it was pretty, you know, I really did try to take a step back and not look at just the packaging with it. So once I did that, I was able to talk myself out of it. Uh, and then the very last thing that I have to talk about is a new release from KKW Beauty. So once again, I don't really purchase a ton from Kim Kardashian's makeup line. Or I actually, I haven't purchased anything from Kim Kardashian, I should say that. I don't have anything against Kim Kardashian. I've never met her. We don't have any beef or anything like that. But there's just not been a lot that has like really intrigued me to want to buy uh, i thought this collection was cute though this is the mrs west collection and it just got released like maybe like an hour before i started filming this so already the tags have been coming in so i thought i would pop it in here uh it says that this collection was inspired by the look that makeup mario created on her wedding day to kanye west so the collection includes an eyeshadow palette a lipstick a gloss a lip pencil a highlighter and a blush it's going to be available may 24th which is their five-year wedding anniversary so really cute concept i did like the the packaging you know i thought kim kardashian's wedding dress was absolutely beautiful um so i i, I like the looks of the packaging i couldn't quite tell if you have to it looks like you buy the kit like it looks like the box the photo that i'm looking at it looks like you do have to purchase everything in there and that right away wouldn't be something that would super intrigue me again i don't see the price on this a lot of times with kim and kylie um, a lot of times they don't release the prices until super close to the launch or sometimes i haven't even seen the prices until the products do launch so again this is just this news just came out now but i wouldn't purchase it regardless but also especially if it's coming in the kit and then you have to purchase everything i probably wouldn't even though i love neutrals and nudes and that's a lot of what i see kim kardashian releasing in her line it's just not enough that intrigues me i really wants you know i just don't really feel the desire to purchase if you will but i would love to know if you purchase anything from the brand and you know what you're loving or any feedback that you might have to give or if you were um intrigued by this collection again it's super cute i enjoy the concept behind it but just not going to be something for me but other than that that is going to wrap up this week's will i buy it video as always let me know your thoughts on all the products that i mentioned i would love to know and of course if you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video bye